The 1969 Camaro is an iconic car, a legend in the making. It's a collector's dream, with many enthusiasts doing five-star restorations or jaw-dropping pro touring builds. Not us. This is Project Blank Slate. Rusted, neglected, it has seen more spider webs and mismatched paint than wax. And we like it that way, because we don't care how it looks, only how it runs. We're building Blank Slate to be a dominating streetcar and autocross terror. And under that ugly hood, we need a serious balls-out engine that has a mixture of power, durability, and torque to make even the most happy baby cry their eyes out. We enlisted some experts in some seriously nice parts. Late model engines from Houston, Texas. We like Houston. Cows, cowgirls, race cars, good stuff. They're gonna build our engine. Our main parts are from RHS. We're using their new Pro Elite LS7 heads and the Trick Tall Deck LS Block. One last thing, just like Texas, this bad boy is gonna be big. 502 cubic inches big. It'll make so much power, nobody will care if the paint is four different colors. <laughs> Building a hard-hitting LS motor takes some serious hardware, and that's where RHS comes in. Building a bulletproof motor starts with a solid foundation, the RHS LS race block. Built from heavy-duty A357 T6 aluminum, the Tall Deck RHS LS race block features Siamese cast bores and is built strong with billet main caps. RHS was able to improve on the factory oiling design by moving the camshaft journals up. Besides minimizing windage and making it compatible with dry sump systems, it also features a priority main journal oiling circuit, a raised 9 and 3 quarters deck height, and raised cam bores that allow us to cram in a huge Lenati 4.600 inch stroke forge crankshaft without knocking into anything. And since this custom crank is going to ramp up our LS's cubic inches dramatically, we needed to make sure the rest of our rotating assembly was strong and lightweight. Fitted with Lunati's lightweight connecting rods and topped with Wiseco's 11.5 to 1 compression pistons wrapped with total seal high performance rings, our RHS race block has got some serious firepower. A custom grind hydraulic roller comp LSX camshaft is the brains behind our new LS motor, and it'll provide us plenty of motivation. It features six 60-inch lift on the intake and 254, 266 degrees duration at 50 thousandths, all while sitting on a 114 degree LSA. While the provisions included in the RHS block ensure improved oiling, we took extra measures by contacting Aviate and landing their LS-specific billet oil pan, which included a four-stage dry sump oiling system. An ATI SFI balancer keeps our big stroke combination from rattling itself to pieces, while keeping the whole thing together is a complete set of ARP bolts and cleavite bearings. What's been instrumental to the new LS platform's success has been the redesigned cylinder heads. Improving upon this new design, RHS has developed a high-performance CNC-machined LS7 cylinder head, titled the RHS Pro Elite, that optimizes air volume, fuel atomization, and velocity, featuring Ferreira's titanium intake valves and Pro Alloy exhaust valves. These dual spring machined heads are perfect for the big power we're looking to make, touting a full complement of comp valve train components, including comp's valve springs, push rods, and short travel tie bar mounted hydraulic roller lifters. There's no doubt that our big Cube LS7 is going to be seeing some high RPMs. Capping our new motor is fast new LSXR 102mm LS7 intake manifold and fast XFI engine management system. With large, fast 65-pound injectors and fast billet fuel rails, our 500-plus cubic inch LS motor is shaping up to be a real powerhouse. Here we are with our naturally aspirated 502 cubic inch street engine. Engine assembly went great. We got it all strapped on the dyno, ready to go. About to fire it up, make some pulls, and see what you've got. K-1000 
capabilities of the Fast XFI. It didn't take much time with some minor tweaking to get some serious horsepower, making a maximum of 720 horse at 6,400 RPMs and 669 foot-pounds of torque at 5,300 RPM. It's almost sad this badass engine is going in such a rust bucket. Well, not really. We can't wait to see some old man's eyes pop out when he sees what's under that crappy hood. 502 cubic inches, over 700 horsepower, and 650 foot-pounds of torque. This is a small block that thinks it's a big block. Guess it's fitting it was born in Texas. But seriously, the RHS LS engine has what it takes to surpass all the small and big block Chevys before it. We think the numbers speak for themselves. Without a doubt, the new RHS LS line of blocks and heads can add up to a true heavy hitter. Big thanks go to Brian Nealon at Late Model Engines, as well as all of our friends at RHS and Comp for making this wicked 500 plus cubic inch LS7 motor a reality. Now to drop this beast between the fenders of our project car and boil those tires right off the rims.